coming up on CSU Lately, find out the latest celebrity gossip with Ram Entertainment and Celebrity Countdown. Then see what specialty drink Melanie and Sophie discover on Drink of the Week. And finally, find out what Sophie just doesn't get. All that including what to do this weekend on this week's CSU Lately. Welcome back to CSU Lately, I'm Melanie Rose. And I'm Christian Zamora. And today we're going to show you about all the things going on in Fort Collins this weekend. Also, new editions of Celebrity Countdown and Bram Entertainment, where Melanie and I will fill you in on the latest celebrity gossip. And a brand new drink of the week. But first, here's a new edition of I Just Don't Get It with our very own reporter, Sophie. We'll be right back. Hi, and welcome to my segment of I Just Don't Get It. In this segment, I talk about things that I don't really understand, like this zit that I can't cover up. Today's topic is galaxy leggings. Now, I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about. I just saw some for the first time the other day, but they're like polyester leggings that have like a picture of the galaxy on them. Why? How do you match with that? What color do you wear? Black? Purple? I don't, is it like an astrology thing? I just don't really get it. Like, I don't understand the point. And it's like very picturesque and like extravagant. I just. I don't really see the appeal, but that could just be me. I'm no fashion major. I also saw very similar tights and they were like muscle, like like not flesh, but like muscle. I don't really get that. So if you're the girl I saw walking on campus, please tweet me, Facebook me, email me, holler at me. I'm just wondering what the appeal is, why you wear them. I mean, they could be really cool. I just don't get it. Now let's start with something you can all look forward to this weekend. And for all of you opera lovers, it's a brand new musical at the UCA called The Merry Widow. That's right, Melanie. It's this Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. in the Griffin Concert Hall. It's truly a spectacular opera. Yeah, definitely. I actually went there to see it last weekend and it was amazing. The opera singers will blow you away. That's right. It's a, it's a spectacular show. Student tickets are only $10, so make sure you grab one. It's a perfect date. Definitely. I'll see you there. Sounds great, Melanie. Let's go. <laughs> now we're going to show you a brand new edition of Celebrity Countdown starring me and Ryan Green where we're going to fill you in on all the weirdest celebrities in Hollywood and we're going to let you know whether or not Jimmy Fallon took Jay Leno's job. Take a look. Welcome back to Celebrity Countdown. I'm Melanie Rose and this is my returning guest Christian Zamora. Now today I really want to talk about the most troubled childhood stars in Hollywood. Melanie, as Celebrity Countdown's number one fan, <laughs> did you already talk about that with Ryan Green? I did, but it's hard not to repeat the conversation because all these childhood stars just keep messing up. Can you guess who I'm going to talk about? Justin Bieber? Yep. I'm in line. Oh yeah. Things alone. Yep, yep. Oh, I knew it. That's exactly ah. what we're going to talk about today. Number three story today is all about Lindsay Lohan. So classic crazy ginger Lindsay Lohan, she's going to 90 days in rehab. The court ordered this to avoid any jail time for her. Lindsay Lohan, when are you going to stop? Imagine if there's two of her, like in pain trap. What I've heard from many sources is that you get these jobs, but you show up late, go out and party. I just think as much trouble as you're in now, you should take a break. So following the notorious Lindsay Lohan is our number two story, Amanda Bynes. The girl we used to know and love, you know, from all that, the Amanda Bynes show. Well, now she's tweeting us pictures of piercings on her face. Her hair looks matted. She just doesn't look healthy. What are you doing? Are you sleeping next to Kesha in a cardboard box? Now, according to E! News, Amanda's family wants her to come home to L.A., you know, so they can keep an eye on her, but she refuses. She wants to stay in New York and just kind of play around. We all know how that's going to end. Amanda, it's not the Amanda show anymore. It's the real life show. You need to get it together, girl. Come on. But according to her Twitter, she's actually um, coming out with a new clothing line. So we'll see how that turns out. I kind of think it's just, you know, not true. And our number one Hollywood troubled star right now is Justin Bieber. After his terrible week in London, his highly public split with Selena Gomez, he is now being accused of spitting in his neighbor's face. That's right, Christian. According to TMZ, Justin Bieber was driving around his neighborhood 100 miles per hour. So, of course, his neighbor comes over. He's concerned. Justin Bieber returns the favor by spitting in his face and threatening to kill him. Um, yeah, people are a little worried that he's going to get prosecuted for this, and this could really hurt his career. And the neighbor reportedly, after he spit on him, he's like, oh my god, I'm never going to wash my face again. And that was this episode of Celebrity Countdown. I'm Melanie Rose, this is Christian Zamora, and we just showed you the most troubled stars in Hollywood. Thanks for having me, Melanie. 
You can catch me every Wednesday night here on CTV 11 with my own segment called Random Entertainment, as well as Friday nights on CSU Lately, hosted with Melanie and I. That's right, Christian. And to watch more videos of Celebrity Countdown, just go to our website at ctv11news.com. Hey, Melanie, you know what all these troubled childhood stars remind me of? What? That Taylor Swift song, Trouble. Oh. Do you want to go um, rock out to that in my car and go get some McDonald's? Yeah, let's do it in the furries. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to CSU Lately. I'm about to fill you in on a pretty cool thing happening this Saturday, but first I gotta ask, are you a fan of Glee? Of course I am, Melanie. Who is it? Exactly. Well, Harry Shum Jr., otherwise known as Mike Chang from the hit TV show Glee, will be in the LSC Ballroom this Saturday. That's right, Melanie. He'll be addressing Asian stereotypes in the media and throughout his career. It'll be a great way to learn about diversity and culture. Yeah, and this is just going to be a short Q&A happening at 5 p.m. in the LSC Ballroom this Saturday, and I am personally a huge fan of his dance skills, so I'm excited to meet him. Yeah, man, maybe he'll teach you a thing or two? I hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for you as well. <laughs> <laughs> now let's take a look at a new episode of Drink of the Week with Melanie and Sophie. This time around, they're taking us to Ace Gillette's Lounge for classic feel of jazz music and martinis. Enjoy. All right, welcome back to Drink of the Week, our favorite segment where we get to take you around Fort Collins to our favorite bars, and they make us a specialty drink. That's right, Sophie, and we are here at the Mayor off of Mason Street. They're known for their beers on tap, but they have it all. So you want to go check it out? Let's go. All right. The Mayor is one of the more popular beer bars in Fort Collins, known for always having 100 beers on tap, plus more in the fridge. Not to mention, they also have mixed drinks and wine. Now this week's Drink of the Week is a Manhattan. The manager at the mayor chose this one because it is one of her personal favorites. Now to make this, you use Bullet Rye, Le Rouge, Angostura Bitters, and top it off with a house-made bourbon cherry. Now you start with putting one and a half ounces of Bullet Rye in, three fourths ounces of Le Rouge, just a couple of dashes of Angostura Bitters, and then for this Manhattan, which is going to be stirred, you obviously stir it all together. Now the trick here is to stir it without diluting all the alcohol. You want to be able to taste all of it. Now once you're done, you pour it into a chilled glass and add a bourbon cherry. All right, Sophie, so what do you think of this drink? Um, I liked it. It's very strong, so you got to be ready for that. But it's um, it's very natural, very pure flavor, which is, I think, exactly what you want in a drink like this. So I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of whiskey, but this drink is absolutely delicious. You can really, um, you know, taste the flavor. I really enjoyed it. Absolutely. But again, you do, you do need to be aware that it is very strong. So unless you're a whiskey drinker, this probably isn't the drink for you. Um, however, my favorite part was the cherry. That definitely. thing was delicious. Delicious. It was so good. I loved it. Now, one of my favorite things about the mayor is that it's a comfortable place to enjoy yourself. It's just a very relaxed environment. The mayor also has Friday Afternoon Club. So if you go to the mayor between 3 and 5 p.m. on Fridays and you buy an adult drink, there will be waitresses walking around with free pizza. So if you're 21, grab your friends and head down to the mayor for the Friday Afternoon Club. We'll see you there. Another great thing to do this weekend is go see the traditional CSU dance concert. This is a great way to go support our dancers and see what they've been working so hard for. That's right, Melanie. It's this Saturday, April 6th at 2 p.m. at the UCA. Yeah, and tickets are only $12 for public and $8 for students. And I personally love watching dancers, so I'm excited to see this. Yeah, I think it's great, Melanie. Yeah. In the meantime, here's the latest Ram Entertainment from yours truly, covering all this past week's celebrity gossip. Take a look. Welcome back fellow Rams, spring wardrobe malfunctions, and all you other CTV viewers out there for another Ram Entertainment. Your only entertainment news source here at CSU, hosted by a man who writes Golden Girls fan fiction in his free time. My name is Christian Zamora, and here are tonight's top stories. For most of us, this past Sunday, the Easter Bunny left us baskets full of peeps, jelly beans, and anything else pastel your parents could find in the dollar section at Target. For Corey Monty the Glee, well, he was left a one-way ticket to rehab. Go directly to rehab, do not pass go, do not break out in song or dance, Finn. That's right, Corey Monteith, the once Taylor Swift target and actor who plays Finn Hudson on Fox's rapidly declining hit show Glee, checked himself into Glee Hab. It's been no secret Monteith has had struggles with substance abuse in the past. In 2011, he revealed to Parade Magazine he was lucky to be alive when he was talking about his drug habits as a teenager. Here at Ram Entertainment, we are happy to hear Monteith is seeking help for his life endangering addiction, even if it took an Easter egg hunt that led him to a rehab facility to do so. Get better, Finn. Keep a ball picture of Brittany in your wallet for some inspiration. April 1st was anything but a joking day for the MTV family. 
In tragic news, Shane Gandy of the network's newest reality hit show, Buck Wild, was found dead in his vehicle after it was located submerged in mud near his West Virginia hometown. The 21-year-old reality star was reported missing along with his uncle early Sunday after the last seen around 3 a.m. at a local bar. The pair, along with a family friend, went to go four-wheeling, but it was unclear where exactly they were heading when the incident occurred. The autopsy reports revealed their deaths were caused by carbon monoxide poisoning. MTV has since halted production on the second season of Buck Wild in light of the tragic incident, as well as covering the cost of Gandhi's funeral. As of right now, it's not clear how long the shutdown will last or if the show will air a second season at all. Our thoughts go out to the Buckwell cast and the families of those affected. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Make your way to the CTV website to find out what late night show host is hanging up his jokes after 22 years. Until another celebrity checks themselves into rehab more expensive than your tuition, my name is Christian Zamora for Ram Entertainment. Hope you enjoyed the ramen. Thank you so much for watching this new edition of CSU Lately. We filled you in on everything you can do here this weekend at CSU. Definitely, and we are going to close out the show with a video made by our very own reporter, Sarah Prince. But we hope you have a relaxing and safe weekend. Take care, folks. Walking the dimly lit sidewalks and in between buildings. Across the streets and around the block. We're around with smiles and cigarettes while most dream round the clock. We're not looking for home nor a particular anything. Just a place to stay for the night or year as allies of the town, allies that roam, we go to a place that's near. It's a place to stay in quiet and loud, cold and warm, both for free. We're allies of the alley, in light and dark, for all of you to see. The alley cat will be around. Thanks for tuning in. Yep, check out our videos on ctv11news.com, and that's all I have for you today.